Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. And this morning went to a couple of garage sales and an estate sale. The garage sales were a bust. It just didn't find anything there. Uh, the estate sale was a gold mine. Um, it was a house out in the country and it was just packed full. There were several rooms full of dolls, like half a room uh, full of Barbies. There was another room that had a bunch of board games and toys and puzzles and stuff. There was even some camera equipment. Um, a lot of fun, fun stuff. Uh, just the stuff that I like to go through. But I really didn't get much today, and there's a reason for that. Um, there's a strategy behind that. In fact, I've got a few strategies today that I want to teach you. So the first one, um, if you guys have listened to me before, you know that I like to go to estate sales on the last day, and today was the last day of the estate sale. Um, do I miss the best stuff? Yeah, of course. The best stuff sells the first couple of days. But you get to the last day and the estate sale company, they want to move stuff out. They don't want to have to deal with it. So they mark stuff down. Most of the time I see 50% markdowns on the last day. I've been to a few estate sales where they say, we don't care, make a pile and tell us what you want to pay for it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, those are great ones to go to. Um, but for some reason, this estate sale I was at today only had things marked down 25% on the last day. And it's not like they were running out of stuff. The house was just packed. So um, I really couldn't figure out what was going on, but I chatted up the owner and I figured out what's going on. I'm gonna tell you about that a little later in the video when we discuss uh, some strategy. Okay, so you ready? All right, so got a few things new in package. Got these, uh, or this twin smoke alarm. Only paid a couple bucks for that. That'll sell for 20 on Amazon, good rank. You got these Radio Shack um, electronic Rolodex and pocket data directory. These are obviously older pieces, you know, um, so they go on eBay. Oh, but I only paid three bucks a piece for those. I only paid a dollar a piece for these. Sold listings for the 64K are right around $29. Um, the 128K is going to be a little more difficult to price because there's one sold listing at $15. But there's only one active listing at $100. So, you know, it probably should be priced higher than this $30 one. But uh, I'm not sure what to do. I guess I'll price it somewhere between $15 and $100. And I'll let you guys know how that goes. Okay, here's a strategy I want to talk to you about. So what I've got here are some very obviously vintage electronics, right? Home video producer works with your camcorder. Okay, little 5-inch um, black and white TV. High power video audio tape eraser, two way VHS rewinder. This is some old stuff here, okay? Now, um, you hear me and you hear a lot of other gurus say, okay, you get this vintage stuff, throw it up on eBay because nobody wants to buy vintage stuff on Amazon. But just for kicks, I looked all this stuff up on Amazon and these Rolodex things over here did not have listings, but all four of these items had listings on Amazon. And surprisingly enough, they had rank and very few sellers, if any, at least one of them had no sellers, and, you know, had some pretty decent prices. So I will be listing all four of these on Amazon and, of course, cross-listing to eBay like I usually do. But that's one strategy for you guys. You know, you hear me and some other people in the group talk about selling VCRs and, uh, you know, other, like, audio equipment, things like that, vintage on Amazon, but I'm gonna encourage you, you find any of this vintage electronic stuff, hey, let's start looking up on Amazon first because somebody out there is making listings for this stuff, right? Uh, another item that I have recently been finding listings for on Amazon is remotes. Um, I picked up all these remotes for, I don't know, it was like a buck and a half, and um, one thing I've discovered in selling remotes is if you don't see the original brand on the remote it's probably not going to sell well because it's probably some generic universal or you know replacement kind of thing but these originals you know these are going to sell really really well either amazon or ebay because you know people still have their panasonic light tower or their rca you know vcr or their iowa you know cassette deck whatever it is and uh they have this this piece they've had for 20 some years they really like it and then the dog chews up the remote well they go looking for the remote online you know and that's where you and i come in or you know what it may even be another seller like me because you guys hear me picking up uh vcrs and then looking for the remote on ebay you know maybe another seller like me is looking for one of these remotes and i'm happy to help them you know that's why i, I'm, that's why I do these videos i like to help sellers really like to help sellers 
uh, trim line telephone. This also is on Amazon. has a very good rank. Okay, so I told you that this house had a lot of dolls and a lot of toys. I honestly did not buy any dolls today. They were just too high priced, even with the 25% discount. Um, but I did pick these things up. I've had really, really good success with these vintage M&M collectibles. Um, only got these for uh, a couple of dollars each, okay? And they have kind of high ranks on Amazon, but each one of these will go for 35 40 bucks, something like that. Uh, got a couple kitchen things. Percolator coffee pots. We talk a lot about those. That one's in nice condition. Cords inside. Look at this Sunbeam Art Deco toaster. Isn't that in beautiful condition? I will sell that for 40 bucks and only paid uh, 7 for it. This is a Sunbeam egg cooker. Got this little plastic thing up here. I presume that, you know, shows the water level. You know, the water boils up in it or something, but it's a it's an egg cooker. It's kind of grimy. I have to clean that up. Anyway, one thing that bothered me about this is it did not have a cord. So I asked the guy, hey, you wouldn't have the cord for this laying around, would you? And he goes, I don't know, probably, but there's guarantee I'm not going to find it. So he only gave this to me for a buck, all right? But I did a quick search on eBay, and I can buy a cord for this for $15. So, once I get that cord and I put it together, clean this up a little bit, I'll be able to sell this for $50 on eBay. Um, here is another strategy I want to talk to you about. This is the Ballaroo game. There was a big table full of board games, and I just didn't, uh, I didn't get any of them because they were all pretty high-priced. This one was nice, low-priced, but it was kind of weird on eBay. There were a few ended listings at $100 with no sale. And then there's one active listing for $100. So that tells me that this is probably not going to sell for $100. Bucks. But, um, you know, I will price it lower because I only paid a few dollars for it. Um, I, I mean, I went ahead and got it. Even though, you know, you guys, you guys hear me say look for sales history. This didn't have sales history, but it's because it's way overpriced. So I'll start this out maybe, I don't know, 50 bucks, okay? And just bring it down if it doesn't sell until it actually does. Um, only got one book. They had a bunch of books on collectible price guides and things like that, but they were all dated. Uh, but for some reason, this one had pretty decent rank and uh, a good sale price. Okay. This is really unusual. Now, you guys, you know that I'm a music head, right? And it's really, really unusual for me to find something that I've never seen before. But I have never seen this before. Okay, the 3M Background Music Cartridge Variety Library. This is for the Cantata 700 Background Music System. Okay, now I've heard of the Cantata 700, but it never occurred to me that the Cantata 700 would need software, okay? There are cartridges for it. The Cantata 700 was a system like for uh, offices, you know, to pipe the music through. So this is a continuous loop here of music. Well, you can see, where is it here? Right there, 700 music selections without title repetition. Okay, so this tape goes around and around and plays all through all 700 songs and then uh, starts over and plays them again. So... I've never seen one of these at a sale. Now, the guy gave this to me for a buck because he didn't know what it was either, but there are several sold listings on eBay for uh, 35 40 45 bucks for these cartridges, so I'm pretty happy to get that. Anyway, that's an unusual thing. Um, be on the lookout for that. Okay, so now let me talk about... Whoops, sorry. Let me talk about general strategy, okay? The reason that... Uh, this sale was only at 25% on the last day, and they still had a lot of stuff. I chatted the guy up. He's a friend of the family. Um, it took him months to put together the sale the way he did today, and he just looked really, really overwhelmed. He said, I have a lot more stuff that I didn't even bring out today. And he said, what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to shut the sale down at the end of the day, and I'm just going to spend the next several weeks uh, cataloging everything else, you know, and uh, pricing it and then setting up, and we'll do another sale at the end of August. Okay, so my normal thing, you know, at estate sales on the last day is I'll buy up the whole table or the whole room or give the guy my card and say, hey, let me know, you know, what doesn't sell. I didn't do that today because it wouldn't have done me any good. He's planning another sale, okay? So my strategy here was just to get a few things today to show him, you know, I'm serious, I'm interested, and, and these, I got some good things today, okay? But my strategy is I'm going to go back in August when they do the other sale, and that is when they're going to be marking stuff down seriously on the last day. That's when I'm going to do my dealing. Does that make sense to you guys? Cool. All right, wanted to give it a strategy. So, 
Uh, last video I did, somebody called me out for not doing a recap. So my recap is my total bill today is $60. And this item right here on Amazon, the price is like 140 bucks. Okay? And if you don't like that, you know, I said I was going to list this for probably 60 bucks or this for 50, 60 bucks. So everything else that you see is gravy. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you're finding in your estate sales sourcing.